headlice. Headlice are small insects that live in our hair. I like bugs, but I wouldn't want them to live on my head. They are annoying and itchy. Wait, why am I scratching? Do I have head lice? I don't think so. Sometimes thinking you might have lice makes you itchy. Ah, that must be it. Each louse can live in your hair and feed off your scalp for 30 days. They lay three to five eggs per day. Lice eggs are called nits. That's a lot of lice! How do you get head lice? They can spread between people from one head to another, or if you share hats or hairbrushes. And lice don't care if your hair is clean or dirty. But if you use special shampoos and combs, you can remove them all. That would show the nits and lice who's boss. Wait, I'm scratching again. <laughs> I'm going to stop thinking about nits and lice now. <laughs> now, let's test your... <laughs> yawn! A yawn is a long, deep <sighs> breath. I can't stop yawning. Everybody yawns, Lily, even animals. <sighs> but why do we yawn? Nobody knows for sure. Some scientists think it's just a big breath we take to inhale extra oxygen, which gives us energy and keeps us alert. That makes sense. I yawn a lot when I'm tired. Some think yawning stretches our muscles, which raises our heart rate and pumps more blood around our bodies. I yawn a lot when I wake up in the morning, so that makes sense too. I'm getting ready for the new day. Hey, I'm yawning so much, maybe I can break the world yawning record. Scientists think yawning might be contagious, which means when we see someone else yawning, it makes us want to yawn too. <sighs> it's working. So what about the world yawning record, Lily? Mm. Oh, I can turn it a little while. Now, let's test your memory. <laughs> Fever! Fevers are your body's way of fighting germs. Is everything okay, Marco? I'm worried about Nash. Last night he was feeling tired and was hot and sweaty. Hmm, sounds like he has a fever. A fever? We sometimes get a fever when we are sick. The body gets hotter and that is one way that it fights germs. So germs don't like getting hot? They don't. That's why our bodies heat up, to stop them spreading. And that's why Nash was so hot and sweaty. Wait, he was given some medicine to get his temperature down. I thought a fever is helpful because germs don't like heat. Ah, it's not good if your fever gets too high. Then you need to take medicine so your temperature is just right. Nash was drinking plenty of water too. That's a good thing to do if you're hot and sweaty, isn't it? It is. Do you know if Nash is feeling better today? I was just on my way to see him. I hope he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nash! He's feeling much better. Now, let's test your... <laughs> <laughs> Passing gas. Everybody passes gas. <gasps> Even animals. I love eating beans. Beans are good for you. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. That's all right, Lily. Everybody passes gas. 
Most people do it around 20 times a day. Some people call it flatulence. But how do we pass gas? Passing gas happens when air enters the digestive tract as we swallow food. As our bodies break down the food, different gases are released. Oopsies! <laughs> Me again. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so gassy today. Well, some foods like beans, broccoli, and nuts are healthy for you, Lily, but they're harder to break down. So for some people, it makes them more gassy. Our bodies are amazing. <laughs> Even when passing gas. Now let's test. <laughs> <laughs> Allergies. Millions of people are born with or develop <laughs> allergies. Achoo! Oh, I've been sneezing all day. My eyes are runny and I'm chewing a lot. I think you may have an allergy, Marco. Look around you. What's that in the air? Pollen. It comes from plants and you might be allergic to it. This is what it can look like close up. Is pollen bad for me? No, it's not. But your immune system thinks it is, so it reacts against it. I wish I could turn my immune system at you. Off. Your immune system usually keeps you from getting sick by fighting off harmful germs. So it's good that it's on, Marco. But allergies happen when the body gets confused and attacks things that aren't actually going to hurt you, like pollen. So I have a pollen allergy. Are there other things we can be allergic to? There are lots of things. Some people are allergic to animals. Some are very allergic to certain foods, like nuts. Oh, so we have to be very careful not to share our snacks with people until we're sure they're not allergic to any of them. That's a good idea, Marco. Uh, uh, ah Oh, immune system. Thanks, but no thanks. Then. Now, let's tap this word. <laughs> then. Find the sight word. Then. 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 That. Then. 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 Then.